Hey guys, Matt from Model Minutes here. If, like me, sometimes you might start painting a model and not be completely happy with it, how do you get rid of that paint so you can start again? Well, let's find out how I did it with this 2008 Airfix Lysander that I started about 12 years ago. You can see in the box that most of the parts have been painted in black. I mostly used Humbrol 33 Matte Black Enamel for this. I want to take this paint off as it's not well applied and it won't match the paint scheme I want to finish this kit in. I even had a go at painting the clear parts and they are not to a good standard. So let's get started in removing as much of this paint as possible. I'm going to be using this, Isopropyl Alcohol or sometimes known as IPA, and no, not the kind you drink. This is 99.9% .9 strength, so I don't need to tell you that this is going to be pretty nasty stuff. Use this in a well-ventilated area, keep it away from ignition sources, and make sure you wear gloves. I got this one litre bottle for about eight pounds, and it will last me a while. You'll also need a plastic pot with a lid, big enough to hold your model parts. Pour in the IPA just enough to fully cover the parts you want to strip and then pop the plastic parts into the pot as well. But I hear you asking, so you're showing us how to strip enamel paint, but what about acrylic? Well, for argument's sake, here is a spare part that I've painted with green Vallejo acrylic. Let's see how well the paint gets removed on this too. Pop the lid on and leave for about 20 minutes. A word of warning, I wouldn't leave this for extended periods of time. I don't believe the IPA will melt the plastic, but don't take my word for it. Leaving it in this bath for long periods of time can't be good for it. As you can see, after only 20 minutes, the black enamel paint is starting to come away from the plastic. I find that an old toothbrush or sponge is a good tool to help get this paint removed. The acrylic paint is also removable at this point as well. Actually, I found that about 20 minutes was enough for acrylic, but you might need slightly longer to get rid of all the enamel paint. Depending on your attention to detail, you can remove most of this paint. Any stubborn areas, simply pop your plastic part back in the IPA for a little bit longer and then try removing it again. But what about the clear parts? Fortunately, you can do the exact same thing. The IPA won't react with this clear plastic and after about 20 minutes the paint is ready to be removed. As a small side note though, if you do this with parts that have decals on, the decals will dissolve. So make sure you have some spares or alternative ones you want to use when you come to build your kit. The clear plastic parts have now had the paint removed, but you can see that I have scratched them in the process of cleaning the paint off. This is easily fixed. First, I buff the plastic with a cotton bud and toothpaste. Yes, that's right, toothpaste. It's a gently abrasive compound which can help polish the scratches out of the plastic. After I've done this and washed the toothpaste off, they are given a clear coat of gloss varnish, which will help to hide any scratches that I might have missed. Sadly, with this particular kit, I must have used a black spray paint on the wings as the paint had clearly reacted with the plastic and melted into it, causing a textured rippling effect. In my youth, I wasn't as aware about suitable paint types as I am now. The IPA has tried to remove this paint, but sadly it's not budging. For these parts, I carefully removed the paint using my rotary tool with a wire brush but I did run the risk of damaging the plastic when I did this, as it can leave an undesirable texture if you're not careful. But anyway, with that all done, I'm now at a stage where I have the majority of my poor paintwork removed and I can begin building this kit as I would normally. Naturally, if you're a perfectionist, then repeated baths in IPA will help remove all that unwanted paint, but I'm happy to leave mine as it is. Not bad for about an hour's worth of work to salvage a kit that I probably would have used as spares or thrown away. Now though, I have a kit that I can build. And what about that pot of IPA? Well, 
put that to one side, put the lid on it and you can use it again and again. If you found this helpful and enjoyed the video, click that like button and let me know down in the comments which model you might be able to save by stripping the paint off of it. Subscribe with notifications on so you never miss any modeling content. Massive thanks to my patrons on Patreon. It's the support from people like this that allows me to continue to produce modeling videos for you all to enjoy. Take a look at the links in the description to find out how you can become part of this community. Speaking of the description box, you'll find links to my social media. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Discord. Finally, thanks to you for watching this video, and I'll see you on the workbench next time.